Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Buckeye Nation. Jerry just informed me 108,000 people showing up after a tough loss a week ago. So, you know, I, I don't, I can't speak for everybody, but what drives me and drives a lot of our players and our coaching staff is not let, wanting to let Buckeye Nation down. So, from our heart, thank you for your support again. And uh, you know, it was a beautiful day in the uh, horseshoe against a, a good football team, a team that uh, you know just had a nice talk with our players. You know, my father was in the army. My sister was in the Air Force. Spent many times against Air Force Academy. Uh, played Navy several times. Never been to Annapolis yet, and I will. And then I took my son to uh, West Point, and we stayed in General Blake's house. Um, and uh, they were great, you know, gracious. Took us to the firing range and just saw some of the coolest things I've ever seen. And has been a bucket list of mine to go do that. Um, it's uh, it's easy to you know to put your head on the pillow at night knowing that men and women that uh, uh, represent our country, uh, it's awesome. And so I just, that was a great experience to play them. Uh, it was a pain in the rear end now. They had an 18 play, 99 yard drive, and they just wear you out. It was 14-7 and our defense coach, Shiano and the defensive staff <clears throat> did a great job. And, um, and obviously the players, Tough Lauren came in and did a heck of a job. And then finally, just a thought on JT is, uh, uh, I, I, I've known about the Big Ten Conference for probably 40 some years, and of all the great players that have ever played here, to say you're the number one uh, touchdown uh, maker in the history of the Big Ten Conference, that's awesome. And that's uh, something that, that's going to be a hard one to break because he's done, he's got a lot of games left. So uh, much credit to him and, and um, appreciate him. So I'll answer any questions for you. Front row right, Bill. <clears throat> Urban, can you describe. <clears throat> Can you describe how difficult this last week was for you and how much of a, of a necessity uh, having a game like this was psychologically? Yeah, losing is awful. And um, it was the you know, typical, it's not the first time, I hope it's the last time, but you know, sometimes those things happen. You work really hard not to allow it to happen. And you go through the uh, discomfort of being crushed uh, uh, to extremely angry and self-reflection, what could you have done better? And then you have to somehow pull yourself off the canvas and, and get going. And how do you do that? You do that in your faith, your family, and your friends, and, and your teammates. And that's why a lot of us have very narrow circles, to, and mine are just what I mentioned, and most importantly, our players. So they, they did a good job. A guy like Billy Price is a strong guy, and he picks us right off off the canvas, and let's go. So, Second row wide left, Tony? Urban, you, um, when Tough Borland came in, was that a performance issue on Chris Worley's part? No, he has a little sprained foot, and um, uh, Tough played fantastic. Do you think that's um, a position that becomes a competition sure. more so now? Oh, I mean, it's, you know, Worley's a leader, and, uh, but, uh, you know, anybody that plays well gets an opportunity. Front row right, Austin. Urban, this wasn't the first time this week that JT's had some adversity or had people question him. Uh, He's always seemed to bounce back traditionally throughout his career. What is it about him that allows that, allows him to make those plays, make those games come back? And did you have any conversations, notice anything different with him throughout this week? Uh, the heart of a lion, you know, it's, it, it's a heart this big. And the toughness is one of the toughest players I've ever been around. So that's pretty good uh, characteristics to have with a guy touching the ball every snap. Uh, back row left, Ari. Urban. Uh, JT was one touchdown away from that record. How aware of you are you during games about how close a player is to breaking a record like that? And do you think about that? Do you keep him in longer? And, you know, just how? No, I wasn't aware of that one until I saw it pop up on the screen. Sometimes you will, like, uh, you know, not very often, though. Like, someone will say, I remember Zeke or something, that he needs five more yards to, and then you start going through your mind, you, you know, you don't want to embarrass your opponent. You don't want to get a guy hurt. So that didn't happen this game, but it's happened before. And uh, front row right, Tim? Yeah, but J.K. Dobbins, obviously, uh, his first two carries the second half, 22 and 52 yards to get you guys uh, some breathing room there. Just what did you see there? What have you seen of him just taking the bid here, his first three games as a freshman? Well, we saw it uh, in, in, against Indiana. You know, unfortunately, we didn't get him in the uh, space. He's a perfect tailback. You know, he's a space player that we uh, need. And it's a shame Paris had the one called back because that was a lightning bolt, too. So we got the... Some young, some develop, you know, we're getting some uh, breakaways developed. You know, we tried to shoot it down the field a couple of times. They were playing just such soft coverage, it was hard to get behind them. Uh, 
But uh, JK and Paris, I thought, you know, they're, they're two of our best playmakers right now. And were you determined to hammer inside as much as anything else today? You to no, you do. Uh, you, you know, we had a lot of outside plays, too. Those, uh, those plays that hit were outside plays. And then uh, I thought Kevin Wilson and Ryan Day did a nice job mix and matching. And it's, it's all how you play, how they're playing. You know, if they're starting to pack it in there, you get outside. And, and I thought, the, you know, the RPOs were very good. That's the run pass options where a lot of those times when you see JT pull the ball and then kick it out there and get really plus, plus yards, you got to keep growing with that. Front row left. Uh, Coach Meyer, in the first quarter, JT still tended to overthrow the ball to players like Mack and McLaurin. Do you think him tying the record with Drew Brees made up for that, compensated for his overthrowing the ball at times? Yeah, he uh, misfires. He was 25 of 33, and I was hoping he'd be 33 for 33, I guess, but sometimes you misfire a little bit. But he, uh, yeah, I saw what you saw. He had a couple misfires early. Uh, fr front row right over here, Clay. How helpful to get Haskins in the game, and now yeah. will you kind of start to bring him along a little bit? I hope so. I thought he uh, performed well when he was in there. as four for four, and, you know, it just I wanted to throw more, but you just didn't want to, you know, do something silly. And, you know, so we, I thought he did very well when he got in there. That's his first snaps, I believe. Special Pretty quick release, too. And final two questions, uh, far left, Doug. Urban, I know obviously you guys did a good job on some of those perimeter throws and spacing them out a little bit, but sometimes it looks like if you just hand it to the tailback every play, you guys could have put up 60 if you wanted to. Do you have it's a just that easy, right? Yeah, I mean it's just foot. I mean, hey, but <laughs> it's more than that. Do you are you? Mu first of all, it's much more than that. No, I, I I know, but you did give it to J.K. on the first two times in the second half, and you went just hand two yards, 74 yard drive. But yeah, just give it to him every time. Yeah. <laughs> do you know, and I asked you this during the week, but do you still have, you know you need to throw, right? I mean, even if you think you could run every time, and I know it's not that you easy. You can't run every but time. But you have to do, you have to be balanced. You have yeah, to the reason the runs, just to help you a little bit with it, not that I'm an expert, and I guess I've done this for a long time, though. I'm an expert. <laughs> just to clarify a few things, what makes the inside run game open up is when you start hitting all those bubble screens and a lot of the horizontal pass plays, too. Or eventually, they're just getting in tighter and tighter. So you have to be very balanced. And I think we were very balanced today, if I remember right, like 300, 300. But is yeah, that 316 passing and 300 or uh, what was it, 280, 270 rushing. So that's about what we need to be. But uh, you do have to, in the big games, you have to be balanced because they can stop the run. But the, you're pretty happy with that balance. That's how you would like it to look. Every, every game. And final questions over here to the right, Steve. Coach, uh, Coach Shiano was down on the field today. Uh, what did you see in terms of doing that? Was that because of what Army does and you expect him to go Combination back up, of both. Or? He's an energy guy. He uh, provides a lot of energy. He uh, knows, you know, he's coached against this offense for many, many years. I wanted him on a sideline for energy and to make adjustments. And we'll reevaluate for if he's going to stay down there. Did somebody go up in his place? Uh, Coach Davis went up. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you, guys.